Hey guys, John here from therxview.com and today we're taking a close look at the Elevation Training Mask 2.0. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with the product, essentially it's a mask that covers your face and controls the amount of oxygen into your body. So using a number of valves and plastic caps, we can control the amount of oxygen that goes into your mouth and then hence into your body, and easier settings to beginners and tougher settings for those who use it a lot. Now, there are theories that suggest it increases your red blood cell count, your overcardiovascular ability, and of course, your lung capacity. Now, I use this mask for past year and I had mixed results. So what I'm gonna do is give you the good points, the bad points, my overall conclusion, and whether or not you could actually buy the Elevation Training Mask 2.0. Now, let's start with the good points. For me, there are four major reasons you should buy this mask. The first one is the fact that it actually works. When I say it actually works, as soon as you put it on your face, you can immediately see your breathing is restricted. It's gonna to be tougher for you to get oxygen into your system. You'll be working harder with your abs and you'll be really concentrating on your breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Now, for those who use it for the first time, you'll probably encounter a lot of panic in the first minute. You might wanna rip the mask off and gasp for air. Once you overcome that hurdle, it will be a lot easier for you. So keep that in mind if you're using it for the first time, it's not always that hard and you will get used to it. Second reason I really like this is the visibility. Now, as you can see, it does a great job of covering your nose and your mouth, but it also allows your visibility to still be there. So your peripheral vision is still there. You can see to the side, you can see up and everywhere. The, re the reality is in CrossFit, you need that peripheral vision when you're doing box jumps, when you're doing O lifting, when you're doing pull ups, you wanna make sure that you can see perfectly fine so it's not a hazard when you're doing these exercises. Third reason I really like this is the actual fit. Now it does come in two different sizes. For me personally, I had no issue wearing this. It straps onto my head fine, it sits there great. It's never fallen off, it's never even come close to falling off. It does, however, if you if you do find it to be a little bit maybe loose on your head, it does come with uh, stretchable and, and, and kind of adjustable straps. And on top of that, it does have uh, a headpiece which you can strap on if you feel it probably sagging a little bit as well to give you that extra fit. So the fit's great, and on top of that, I really like the size. As you can see, it's really small, it's easy to carry. If you want to put it in your pocket, you can even do that. You can scrunch it up, take it with you, throw it into your bag. Very accessible if you want to go for a short trip, maybe even to work, the size is great. In terms of what I didn't like about it, I'd say the thing I didn't like about it the most is it's confusing. Now, it does come with a user manual and a DVD, right? All the information is in here. If you want to change the settings, you want to know more about it. So they provide you with the information, but the information is still a little bit confusing. I found that to change the settings, it wasn't as easy as just ripping the cap off and putting a new one on. You had to then put a valve in, maybe turn it up the wrong way, alter these caps with seven, you've got seven different caps. So there's a whole bunch of systems you have to go through. Now personally, I liked it. If I was doing a workout and I realized I had it on a setting I wasn't comfortable with, it's not as easy as just ripping a cap off and putting it on. You really have to sit down and use the manual. So I found that kind of annoying and kind of frustrating for me. The second thing I didn't like about it is the appearance of it. I mean, let's face the facts. How often would you see someone running down the street wearing an elevation training mask? Not often, and when you do, they really stand out. So let's face the facts, if you're going to go to your CrossFit box and wear this, you probably will look like a bit of an idiot. You have some people looking at you, you might be called Bane from Batman or some other superhero villain. Me personally, I was a bit hesitant to wear it a few times at my CrossFit gym, and I was also hesitant to wear it running around my block. So something to notice if you are gonna, if you are gonna buy this, maybe just be aware that you might not wear it as often as you'd like to. Third criticism I had of it is its cleanliness. Now, if you can see the inside of it is quite small, okay, and the reality is when you're working out, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be humid in there, there's gonna be sweat, moisture, saliva, a combination of all these things. Without going into too much detail, it's not gonna be as clean as you hope it to be. So all those germaphobes out there, make sure you know, not as clean as you might hope it to be. The last criticism I had with it was it is that it was fidgety. It comes with seven small caps, as I mentioned before. Now these caps aren't very big. They're easily, they're plastic as well, so you can easily break them. On top of that, it comes with three different valves. Now they're plastic, they can also be broken really easily. And of course, when you're putting them on, when you're taking it off, it's not as easy as just whacking it on. You have to kind of fiddle around with it. So personally, I didn't like the fidget aspect of it and I found it a little bit annoying to use. In conclusion, is it a good mask? Is it a bad mask? Is it worth buying? Well, personally, I had some really good experiences with it. I found it added a bit of extra to my, my training. I found that it, it changed my wads a little bit. It gave me that extra element. I found myself breathing a lot uh, consistently. I found myself focusing on my breathing a lot more than I would beforehand. So it definitely taught me that aspect of it. For those MMA fighters out there or Jiu Jitsu um, fighters, it's actually a great mask. It'll teach you to control your breathing and to work in those situations where your breathing is depleted. So you might be getting choked out and you might be able to know that, you know, through using the training mask, you're better prepared for those situations. And likewise, maybe if you're used to running at high altitudes, this might help. So in conclusion, I think it does have a lot of positives, but some of the negatives are, does it really increase the red blood cell count? 
Does it really improve your overall cardiovascular skill? And does it really improve your lung capacity? Without being put under a clinical trial myself and having my blood tested, I don't think it does. I don't think that I, I did notice a massive increase in my fitness or my overall lung capacity during that time. I mean, I've used it for a year and I can honestly say that I didn't really notice those, those aspects and those improvements. So in a nutshell, no, I don't think it does. So don't buy this mask expecting to get massive increases in ability and, and so forth. Um, you will get some, some improvements and you will find it helpful, but I don't think you're gonna get massive improvements. Um, so in a nutshell, is it worth buying? Well, if you're an elite crossfitter and you're an elite sportsman, yeah, I mean, for $90, it's a great tool to throw on your bag and have that extra additional part to your training. But for a standard crossfitter, and maybe you're on a budget, I don't think it's worth the $90. Me personally, if it was $50, I'd buy it. For $90, the answer is no, I wouldn't. Now, of course, you can find out more about the Elevation Training Master 2.0 and our full text review, which can be found on our website, theRxview.com. Oh, fuck. Oh. Thanks, mate.